afternoon. Let's talk about what you see right now, the Pit Vipers. All right, so the Pit Vipers really aren't what the video is about. I mean, kind of. If you like Pit Vipers, but you need a little medicine in them, this video is for you. <clears throat> These actually have my prescription in the back of them. There's a company that makes this little clip-in glasses um, based on your prescription and you can get them single vision or bifocal or no line bifocal progressive lenses. I got the line bifocal because it's the first pair of bifocals I ever had. I didn't, honestly, I didn't want to spend the extra 50 bucks, 60 bucks, whatever it was to get rid of the line. I said I'd try it and see what it was about. And actually, I, I kind of like it. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, it's nice to not have to switch glasses back and forth to be able to see things or just take my, you know, have to take my glasses off. I can see up close with my vision. It's just distance. So whenever I have my glasses on for distance, driving and such, if I need to read something or you know look at the radio or whatever, I'd have to take them off. And now I don't have to. That's pretty good. <clears throat> so what is the downfall about these things? Because I gotta give you the good, the bad, the ugly, right? That's the good. The good is you can get them for pretty much any type of pit viper they make. Uh, I kind of want to go back and get the flip-up pit vipers and the glasses just stay there. I think that looks pretty neat. A little 90s retro, uh, <clears throat> but with a bigger glass. Pit vipers are known for the wraparound glasses, keep all the sunlight out and everything else. But again, this isn't really about the pit vipers, more about the prescription inside of them. Or on the back side of them, however you want to say that. Um, <clears throat> what I also like is if I have multiple pair of pit vipers, I can take this out and put it as long as they're the same model and this model here that you're looking at is the eclipse uh there's the i think the 2000s there's the flip ups um some will interchange with others some will not so you could definitely wear one pair on, on multiple glasses the downside pit fibers seem to get dirty fast i can see smudges right here at the top i just cleaned them like last night um and with having the they call the tie down strap i like the way it connects it has little holes in here that these things just clip into i do like that but when they hang around your neck it just collects stuff and being it's two different glasses here or two different lenses stuff dust and everything else gets in in between the two lenses now this thing clips in pretty tightly so i'm starting to get the hang of it more and more but you have to remove it to clean it and then carefully put it back together like with either a gloved hand or with the uh, microfiber wrapped around your fingers so well that you don't add any more smudges when clipping it back on. That's the downfall. Um, is it that big of a downfall? Probably not. I think the more I do it, the more I'll get used to popping this in and out. Um, this is black instead of the original white, but you don't really notice it and you probably wouldn't know if I hadn't told you. But if you're really that really bothers you, it might be an issue. Uh, I don't know. Get a paint pen and paint it if you want to. That might work. But anyway, so Savet Optical S V E D is the people that make it. They make it also for many other sunglasses. Bali, uh, what is it? Um, Oakley, the big Oakley frames, like the ski goggle looking things. Uh, various different ones. You can look on their their website S V E D Optical and give them a look. Take care.